<laughs> you know how we love our robots here at Planet TV. Oh, this is fun. You know, it's always curious to, to think about where legends and those sorts of things come from. Have you ever wondered where the legend of mermaids came from? Well, take a look at this video clip and it might change your idea about them being completely just some drunk sailor's fantasy. Well, what you're looking at here is video of what is obviously some sort of a fish found in Jordan. Uh, now it is truly uh, an amazing fish and uh, you can see uh, as it pans up it here that you will uh, it could easily be mistaken for some sort of a female uh, <laughs> I guess it would be possible for a drunk fisherman to look at this and go yeah that's a girl a mermaid it actually is quite impressive and you're probably saying to yourself Oh, Lucian, this is not real. This is fake. That's just something somebody made and put on a table. Who knows? It could be a wedding cake for all I know. Well, that's not true. And you know why I know that? Let's take a look at this clip. <clears throat> this is a real live version of the fish you just saw. In fact, they uh, caught these two together mother died this is the baby I'm not sure how long the baby lived but that is one amazing fish and uh, from the underside I guess it's the underside maybe it's the top side <laughs> I don't know that fish does in fact have an uncanny resemblance to uh, a mermaid you just never know where legends come from <clears throat> could have been a mermaid have you ever thought to yourself where do the modern numbers that we use where do they come from i mean the actual shapes have you considered that well i think i think of these things i consider them all the time and i'll figure i'll let you know our our numbers of course uh are based on the arabic numeral system uh which has its derivation in the phoenician numeral system which is opposed to the roman numeral system uh, and the reason the numbers are shaped the way they are has to do with the number of angles in the original shape of the numbers and take a look i'll show you you can see number one uh, has just one angle. You see where the little zero is. The shape of two has two, three has three, four, five, six, seven, as you can see, all the way up to nine, and then of course, so ever. In case you were ever wondering where the shape of numbers came from, now you know. And that made me look around for other things on the social news site, and this popped up. Why is a minute divided into 60 seconds and an hour into uh, 60 minutes? And they. I'll have a link to the articles where they go and explain that. Basically, it has to do with the fact that the Egyptians used a 12-based numeral system. Now, you might ask yourself, why would they do that? And here is why they did that. There are 12 knuckles on the hand, not counting the thumb. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That would allow one, a person to count to 12 with one hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And of course, you could do that on two hands. So a base 12 was how the Egyptians used their numeral system, and they're the first ones to really develop the sundial. So that's why clocks are divided into 12, and the 12 eventually became 60. There's a story. I'll have a link. You can read about it. <laughs> oh, this is very cool. I love to find these how-to things. Uh, this is actually in, on the Instructable site. This is a Rubik's Cube that is made out of neodymium magnets and dice and as you can see it is really amazing they have some made out of red dice the clear ones and different colored ones and these are, of course are the white ones here and uh, it's truly amazing it's not held together in the typical uh, Rubik's Cube uh, fashion it's held together with magnets which means you can do some cool stuff like this oh that's just awesome I'll have a link to uh, where you can uh, make your own if that's something you're into <laughs> Very this cool. year it's back on again it was march 24th and here is a video clip of the omni zero dot four truly an amazing robot <laughs> Thank you.
I'll uh, have a link to the YouTube clip. You can watch the whole thing. He plays around with the frying pan. So I'm jumping rope, though. <laughs> I've actually seen people who jump rope that look just like that. 